Hello, everyone. This is a presentation regarding Petsy and the glove theory. My name is Marcel Elvers, Master Profiler through Written Communication. Please uh, like my channel. Above all, share, subscribe, and put your liked videos on your playlist. There is a theory out there that the handwriting was altered and disguised because of wearing a glove. And that makes sense to a certain part because her handwriting was altered in the first paragraph and there were no fingerprints on the ransom note. And that would explain that. Lawrence Smith wrote a book the last Christmas of uh, John Benet Renzi, and he mentioned the, the glove theory in his book. And I quote, a person can easily disguise their handwriting by wearing a glove on their writing hand that serves to convert their handwriting to being virtually unrecognizable. That statement is only partially true. And in the John Benet Ramsey case is unequivocally not applicable. And the reason is, whether she wore a glove or not, it did not limit her fine motor skills. So handwriting itself and the quality of the handwriting depends on having the discipline to repeat letters in a similar fashion, to have control over your strokes, and that depends on control over your fine motor skills, and most of all, you need visual feedback so you can correct. Now, for instance, if you wear thin latex gloves, your handwriting will not change. Now, if you wear a uh, semi-thick glove that might have a little bit stiffness to it, it may alter it a little bit. And as you will see later, it doesn't. And these thick lined welding gloves, and I have tried that a couple of years ago, they definitely change your handwriting, partially because of the lack of visual feedback and partially because of the stiffness and loss of fine motor skills. Now, this is all my handwriting. And number one is just my regular handwriting with my eyes open. You can see I had a little distraction in the word open where the E did not move forward and uh, overrides the body of the P. Sample two shows my handwriting is all cramped up because I had my eyes closed. You can see that I missed the E in eyes. It is cramped up because I felt I may run out of paper, so I cramped it up. Three and four, I just put the glove on and my initial two attempts to write look uh, dramatically failed. But at five, it already returned with a little bit concentration to by and large speak by handwriting. And this line number six, my last attempt is already back to my normal writing. Now you can ask what type of glove were you wearing? Well, it was a ski glove. It had flexibility still, but it limited maybe a little bit, but obviously it did not alter my handwriting. Now, when you look at one and six, my regular handwriting and my almost regular handwriting with a glove on, we can see that many features remain the same in details. We can see the extension uh, on the K, the, a to T connection is the same. The little loop in my is present. Uh, the leftward stroke in the T is the same. The connection from the W to the I is the same and very similar, as well as the I dot to the T. I have a strong tendency to do that. Um, the extension on the H, the S is the same. And you can see that this glove did not limit my fine motor skills. And it did not affect, whether she wore a glove or not, it did not affect Patsy's writing skills either. In the following samples, one is Patsy's known writing, and two is the ransom note author. Now we can see that the mid-zone eyes drop below the baseline in both samples. 
the final upward stroke in the U and W is leftward bound, both the same. Patsy have a strong tendency to have a smaller O in between the C and U in country, same as the ransom note writer. And the very first word in Mr of uh, the address C of the ransom note, we see that the uh, upstroke retraces the downstroke in the first stem of the M. The second stem doesn't come down to the baseline and we see a floating period. All these similarities suggest that the glove, if she wore one, did not hinder and so we leave it in the middle, whether she has worn a glove or not. Uh, it may be because there were no fingerprints uh, on the ransom note. However, as far as handwriting is concerned, it is a distinction without a difference. <laughs>